News now, the United Auto Workers strike is moving into day five. Nearly 13,000 workers have left the assembly line to join picket lines. The union and Detroit's big three automakers are back at the bargaining table. A major sticking point, pay raises. The union wants a 40% increase over the next four years, but the company is only offering about half. As auto workers go on strike in other parts of the country, we wanted to take a look at how the auto industry has been here in Wisconsin. Rebecca Clough going in depth tonight to show us where we started and where we are today. The Wisconsin auto industry has seen its ups and downs. In the early 2000s, both Janesville and Kenosha lost their auto plants. We were there with the devastated workers on their last days on the job. First in Janesville. I was crying all day. It was just, you feel sick. I said worried and kind of scared and wondering what's going to happen next, but just got to keep our hopes up. Then in Kenosha. It's hard. It's going to be hard on it the Kenosha area in general. I'd trade with them in a minute if I could, but not possible, so. But even though auto manufacturing is not what it once was, the Milwaukee Business Journal's longtime manufacturing reporter, Rich Kirchin, says the industry hasn't gone away. The industry does live on some, it, but it's the suppliers that are still here. We don't have the actual automakers. In Wisconsin, there are more than 127,000 auto jobs, and 3.5% of the population depends on the auto industry for jobs, according to the Alliance for Automotive Innovation. On top of that, the Wisconsin Automobile and Truck Dealer Association says their industry affects almost every community in the state. This is $17.5 billion in total sales in the state of Wisconsin. Payroll just for these people is $1.5 billion. These are some impressive figures. We're not a small industry. Bill Sepik says even though dealers are relying on automakers for their cars and their parts, he wants customers to know they're in the same place. Both of us, you the consumer and us the dealer, we're kind of one party removed from all this. So we have to, we're all sitting on the sidelines watching and hoping for the best results. Auto jobs in Wisconsin bring in big money for the state. According to the Alliance for Automotive Innovation, they bring in $8 billion in income, and that equates to $1 billion in state tax revenue. I'm Rebecca Clough reporting.